What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Jad here from Puma Plow Play. It's more Farming Simulator 22. We are back on the album of Missouri. Let's do it. Hello? Hello? Who cut your tree down? I have suspicions, but I, I, I it's okay. I fixed it. <laughs> I'm just going to keep putting in bigger and bigger trees each time it gets cut down. That is a bigger tree. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't cut it down for the record. I trimmed I it up you, that day with you. So, so the uh, I logged on because I was loading the map early in the middle of the night because I was bored. I walked over here, see my tree was gone. So I was doing some investigating work. It happened between like two and a half hours in stream and three hours because I seen it on your oh, it, stream. It actually wasn't there on the last stream. So it was there before you started planting corn no way and then while you was cutting corn it was disappeared well who wait wait we can invest who was in was it was it john did john cut a tree down not sure who needs a fence around it <laughs> i don't i don't think it'd be no it wouldn't be i don't was it trent Trant? Hey, Lef was in here when we found out about this whole ordeal. But was it you that cut the tree down? No. Oh, I feel like it was there where the the eight R and the, the dual or the eight thousand with hang on. Is. hang on, hang on, chat, chat. There's a visual. I feel like I need to bring Teamspeak down here and then shine like a big light at it and be like, <laughs> "Where were you on the twelfth? You know, like in tear. Never mind. That window is so small. <laughs> Bero 313 cheered Dex 100. As Shaggy always said, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Like, so excuse. Yeah, uh, Bear, thanks for the bits. I don't, that's crazy. Was it Black Hat? Black Hat? Hi. Was it you? No. I, to be honest, I never noticed the tree. <sighs> that, no, I, yeah, we, I asked already. No hey, uh, Black Hat, thanks for the. You're insane. I, I don't know what you talk about. Okay. <laughs> so where? Your, yeah. Okay. Your, uh, Hold on. Reward for not. Where? Where is the surprise from Dan then? Uh, go on your map. Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! What did he, did he draw? Something? No. Did he? Mm -hmm. Where? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was figuring it was going to be something like inappropriate. <laughs> I checked before. All right, as long sure. as it's appropriate, yeah, we're we're good. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Nothing wrong with that. Everyone, report to the tree. Hi, <laughs> hi, no. Captain. We're playing Among Us now. You leave my tree alone. <laughs> <laughs> His job runs off the dress. Chop it down. I just wanted to shine some uh, green light on it with my with my uh -huh. lightsaber. You, you're getting awful close with that lightsaber. You know, I don't mind that tree because it's like trimmed up. It looks nice, actually. You know, did you trim it or no? No, that's like, that's I just, just how they are. That's how it is when you buy it. All right. So what are we uh, what are we up to by the way after the tree controversy? Um, animals are in good shape. They're great, actually. Um, but, 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 uh, we're gonna fast time for. Uh, or what's it called? Beans, right? I think so. Beans, beans, and then we'll have to spray our fields as well. Oh, the, the herbicide got restacked too. And when that happened, it was knocked over. It's you probably know, left. I drove around this map the other night after stream two and like parked a little bit of equipment and I didn't notice the tree. I didn't oh, notice it either. The tree being cut down. tree looks like it belongs there so that tree actually was there because that used to be the front left corner of like the um the horse paddock area how much did the tree cost i have no idea like 40 Two, bucks thousand but, eh, they're, they're kind of expensive but not too bad though yeah, it'll buff mm -hmm. it just comes out of whoever's pocket that cut the tree down exactly pretty much Daniel's at McDonald's right now, bro. I'll take a uh, double quarter pounder. Hold the, the hold the uh, what's it called? The pickles. Just ketchup and cheese, real realistically, you know. How do you get McGriddle? McGriddle. It's 
they don't have all day breakfast anymore, do they? Uh, some, some still do. All right, so number one needs to be sprayed, and then number nine, three, thirty-two, and thirty-one need to be planted in beans. Uh, the alpha alpha is finally ready, but I don't. I, I don't. It has to. You have to go another day. Was this only first day? Okay, I didn't look at it. Yeah. Oh. It looks tall, but I don't know. Might be second day. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure. But definitely a basket of fries, by the way. Dude, basket of fries from McDonald's, if they're good fries. Oh. The Shamrock Shake, they still have those, Dave? Well, fresh fries. I, th I think so. For a little while. Did I restart the server? No, I did not, Sean. I didn't feel like having to restart it today, so. Well, what needs to be planted into beans? Uh, three, uh, nine, and then the new field, 31, 32. That everything that's not planted right now? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> oh, you got one yesterday? Okay, Dave, I got you. Um, ba, 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 ba. what am I looking for? I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm looking for something. Are we good to take the cow feeders off of auto drive? Are they all on auto drive right now? Yes. Yeah, they don't need to be. Well, we got to feed again. <laughs> it's all good for now. Well, it, we can start mm. getting stuff done though, just in case we need to pick something up. Yeah, no, they're good. They're chilling. All right, I'm gonna spray one real, 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 you know. How much milk do we have now? That was fast time, by the way. We need some milk. Uh, 302. Uh, yeah, 302. Is it a decent price today? Because we can sell. I was about to find out before it fills up. Yeah, yeah, because we should be selling over the winter, but we haven't been. Or we've only sold milk like twice, once. I don't even know. Not sure. Look at our beautiful car in chat. I actually heard a little controversy about these uh, John Deere sprayers in IRL, by the way. Now, I don't know what models, so don't, don't come at me like that. But the one farmer guy was telling us that uh, a different farmer guy in the area uh, blew up his motor in his. Flat blew it up, right? Or slap up. Okay. And apparently, uh, whatever engine, we'll call it an engine, because that's what it is. Whatever engine's in these things, apparently they're known as the throwaway engine. At least around here to, like, local guys. And so it caused, apparently, a bunch of other people in this area just to go out and, like, upgrade their sprayer to a different model. Because uh, they don't want that same engine after the one guy blew up his. <laughs> like, nope, we're not doing this. I mean, it's smart. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Sean, Battlehawks today at, uh, what, 3, I think, Central, right? It's going to be on Fox. I got my tablet here, ready to go for, uh, uh, I'll put the game on there. That way it doesn't break the server. <laughs> so we can sell today, it would be about halfway price okay. right now. Okay. Uh, we still have room, gets... too. September is good price for like even like for in the middle of winter. Okay, we'll hold then. Yeah, yeah, because like I said, we we do have some. Yeah, we just like the dairy. Yeah, mm -hmm. the dairy will probably take some too, and that's we own it. So production wise, well, yeah, that's right. This is new field. This doesn't need to be sprayed. Uh, Sean, speaking of that, and for like the the data for the field, uh, Trent, you ran a uh, subsoil or a, what's it called, soil tester, uh, out here the other day. So we're we're chilling there. So our data our data is good. I do need to restart the server at some point. I need to add the arms for the eighty four hundred, for the eight R or the eight eight thousand series. Sorry, John Deere's. And we might have to add some new case mods because uh, apparently yesterday was case mod like city. Like all the case mods came out yesterday. That sprayer looks really cool too, by the way. Sugar cane special though. It's a sugar cane special? Really? We're not growing sugar cane. Time to grow some but sugar it, cane. It says sugar cane special, but you can. Ah. Uh, it looks have cool. To put the, those little. There's, 
I guess, bars on it. Oh, uh, it's like special boom. But you can take those on and off. Uh, okay. You can make it look like a regular Patriot. That's cool. That's cool. I, I, option, at least. I glanced in the mod up for like two seconds or before. Got fancy trackers in there. Iowa women plays today at 2.30. Is that uh, basketball, I'm assuming? It is March, right? Still, yeah, for yeah. a little bit. I, I think the tournament's still going on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Illinois, Illinois plays today. Oh, boy. What are we down to? Sweet 16? Uh, Elite 8. Oh, we're up to eight. Down to eight. Okay. I don't, uh, don't follow it. Sorry. Like, at all. I, I don't either. I just know what's going on. <laughs> this is the farthest that at least Illinois has become, so that's why I've kind of. Yeah. Yeah, you're all about it. With it. But Battlehawks at three today. On the road. First game. Very excited about that. I, that. Well, the XFL was fun. As long as they make it like the XFL and, and like, not like the UXFL, whatever the other one was, then it'll be fine. Yeah. You, or you can only plant a crop once. Barry, you need to go back to work, man. You, you're coming up with a weird idea. So is this like a, like a one... One time, like ten hour stream map and done. Then I don't know. So we plan everything on one map and say we're done. Is that pretty much what the challenge is? Yeah, I don't know. Well, the weird, the other thing is too, like the reoccurring crops that sugarcane. Only crop that reoccurs. Oh, right? like that. So like Deer, grass, sugarcane, sugar. grass. Yeah. Grapes and olives. Oh, God. <laughs> no. 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 Do you like that, friends? You know, Bear, there's a wall over there. I might as well go beat my head against the wall. We might have more fun doing that, okay? Well, <laughs> we can. I, I think we could do the crop one, but there's yeah. a little change to it, we'll say. We do. We have to plant every crop before we can plant it again. Oh. And we'll take some out, like olives and grapes. So you, you, okay. So you're like start at the top of the list. Yeah. So you have to do wheat, then you have to do like go like that. Yeah. We'll take out the like grapes and olives because because they're grapes and olives. <laughs> pretty much, and you can't get rid of them easily. So uh, you technically have them all the time, but like other so normal crops we do. Not really. Yeah. Yeah. But like, just do the normal crops, just. Uh, rotation. Hey Bear, let me know when you uh, when you can play uh, when you're back in town and can play a bunch because um, we'll do that. Okay, you have to be here for it. <laughs> I, I, it's actually an interesting idea. To it is, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jeff, okay, that makes sense. So I'm thinking like a heggy for doing like fungicide or uh, fertilizer, then kind of similar. Then uh, so Jeff kind of looks like yeah, it's drops so. But, you know, I think back to, like, Cold the Corn Star when they were running uh, drops on their sprayer. And then, like, you know, you don't put drops on the full boom. It's just a, it's a smaller portion in the center. And it's nice and cheap. Alpha, alpha grass, keen. For the reoccurring ones. Yeah. Which, alpha, would, alpha's not always there. We would have to bail so much. We're doing another 100k bail, bail challenge? No. Ah, that's what that map would turn into. Unless Bear's here now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're doing uh, a uh, only challenge again. Bear, Bear, you gotta take a month off work. Hey, okay? sorry. I hate to tell you. Because, yeah, so that would, that's what that would turn into. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. That would be that would be interesting, though. Yeah. Would be it's very a very doable. Because oh, yeah. of uh, silage. He's not about not about taking time off work, huh? Yeah. Not not for that at least. But that would be an interesting way to play. You have to you have to follow the list. Yeah. And that would be a weird wicked way. It's gonna be expensive. Because like from 
you got. Let's say you just go with everything on this list right now, except for grapes and olives because they're not really plantable. But from yeah. like potatoes, sugar beet, sugar mm-hmm. cane, cotton. Oh, it's expensive. That's expensive and it sucks. Oh, that's if you buy it. But yeah, we well, first off, we'd have to have modded like. Yes. Yeah, for the especially but, when you get down to the bottom of the list and it's, you know, red beet, carrot, and parsnips. Yeah. Bring on the modded equipment. Although there's poplars in here too, isn't there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah poplars wouldn't be too bad. You just get the baler, pretty much. Forge harvester. Well, not only that, I'd, I'd do the forge harvester over the baler. Yeah. Yeah, but we we could do both. Really. I'll never we forget don't... on 19 when the poplar baler came out. Mm-hmm. I was playing on um, uh, what's that map called? Madison County, the farms of Madison County, 4X map, and I was like all excited. I was like, "Yeah, this is cool. Let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I grow a little field of poplars, and I'm gonna bale them." The map. <laughs> the map didn't have any sell points for the bales, and I didn't even think about it. So I like load them up, and I'm all proud of my bales, and I'm taking them to the sell point. Nothing, and I was like, "Ah, oh, crap." <laughs> so those bales just sat on the map the rest of the time I played. But don't they technically go to like a biomass heating plant or something like that? The problem was it was a modded map that came out before. It didn't have a, there was no ah. trigger for it anywhere. It wouldn't take it anywhere. And I was just like, mm. dang it. So they just sat there. And I left it in the video because, you know, why not? I didn't have like a sell everything point back then. Which, you know, is a great yeah. thing to have. You need to find that mod until. I didn't know about it back in 19. I think I found it in 19 from some YouTube channel. Oh, nice, Sean. That's probably going to become a standard mod, by the way, Sean. Be able to buy more than, like, you know, 20 cows or 60 cows or whatever at a time. I think you can buy, like, 5,000 at a time if you want. Which is that's, awesome. That's a lot of cows. Yeah, but the way I like to buy my animals on here... Yeah. I always liked it was called buy many animals or buy buy more animals or something back in like uh, 15 days. 17 maybe? 2000. Okay. But you would just the longer you would hold the buy button down, the faster it would go. And if you were on a server and everybody had like permission or was logged in as admin, everybody could hold the button down. So, oh. you could buy 25,000 fattening chickens in like no time. Uh, yeah, That's yeah, I, could, I can see that. It was a great mod. I love that mod. It was an awesome little mod. All right, this field's done. Uh, you guys need me to jump on a planter then? Or should I start mowing the alfalfa? I say if you... I don't know what planters we have left, but sure. Well, our corn planters will plant beans too. Uh, you guys much. got both the big planters out there, right? Yes. All right, I'll just let you guys work. I'll go mow off alpha. My one. Yeah, betcha. But 2,000, that's still a lot of cows at a time. That's 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 a lot. That'll fill most of your barns yeah. out there. Exactly, yeah. Now, I'm interested to see on Alma here, There, the update has been sent to Giants. And uh, we'll be able to hold more animals in the buildings and more, like, food. I'm interested to see what that goes to, and it does not require any saves, so... Yeah. That does it require you to actually a new barn, though? Wait, what did you say, Black Hat? Does it require a new barn, though? I don't think so. No. Oh, okay. A meat-only map? So, like, actually raise cows and sell them? And install some mods? Usually have to play different buildings. I don't know, Sean. I mean, it says it doesn't require a new save, so... We'll just cross our fingers and hope that it doesn't, you know? Or doesn't require a new building or anything. I don't know. I'll test it before I, like, you know, throw it on the server. Obviously. Here, the sprayer needs to go under the shade tree. It needs to stay cool. <laughs> Imagine the amount the of bird crap, though. Oh. Awful. Yeah, like 
Mike Mosso knows all about that. Alright. Park, park tracker too close to the bins. Yeah. We used to park stuff underneath shade tree that the one the one tree that we had on the farm forever. Bad idea. Try to sit out there to like have lunch. Bad don't idea. To, don't forget to do the ditch crush. Yeah, first. I was just thinking I need to move over a little bit here, don't I? So we're going to purposely mow way over here and then get that bailed up because that's going to count as grass. Yeah, we got this. Uh, we should, when we get a little more money, put a I, gravel border. Yeah, there. I've been wanting to. R. Maybe I just get a plow. Plow a little one one pass border around the edge. That would work too. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that here in a minute. Should just have to refill them. That's good, Jeff. Uh, we're fine on fuel for this uh, this mowing John. We'll be okay. Halfway through the field, I'm out of fuel. <laughs> that clip didn't age well. Mm -hmm. I need a plow in this 31, 32 field because I think I'm missing edges. Wait, you're missing edges on the what? Well, because whenever I did it, it was in the middle of the winter with snow on the ground. Oh. And, yeah, there's a couple strips that don't look like. You need me out here. Let me let me do the outside round, then I'll bring you a plow. I'll I'll work on it for you. You can keep playing. Cause I'll, I'll go ahead and bail this and then break out a plow. Get after it. Yeah, Sean, that's what we're talking about using a plow just to put down a, a stripe with that. That way, if we ever want to like change it, we don't have to like try to plow out a gravel strip or something, which gravel would work. Don't get me wrong, but a plow's free because we already own it. Oh, yeah. Gravel costs money. It looks nicer, though, but... Money. And we're tr trying to be responsible, you know, so Bear doesn't yell at us. I mean, he's yeah, not here to yell at us in person. Well, if you don't put, like, a big, thick strip, all right, I think we can do it. We're selling corn in June, right? Yeah. Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Uh, Trent, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Do that. Um, never mind. Uh, okay, I just question. Stream. Uh, stream. Yeah. 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 Oh, there's a, there's a border wall back here. Still back there. I don't want to go like too far over, but I guess I might as well. It's better. It's just some uh, ditch grass, you know, ditch hay. Gotta love it. Although right now we have so many silage bales, it's kind of, kind of insane. I believe our silage bin store, our bale store, is just pretty much full right now, and then there's all this out here too. A small dirt border. Yeah, we'll make it work, guys. Make it work. By the way, how's the leg today? Not too bad yet. More or less, just don't have a lot of frames, but. Yeah, like, that, that's just this map these days. Okay. All, all these bales probably aren't close. I guess instead of a plow, you could always plant a, uh, like a crop. Plant a crop? A little strip of wheat or something like that. But I have a plow in the shed that's just asking to be used. Plus, I gotta help over left, left over here. This field. I'll make it work, y'all. There's only like three spots that I've seen that just needs a touch up plow. That's. I'll make it work. We might sell some of these bales, by the way. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Assuming they're, they may not be ready though. I, I saw some in the winter. Yeah, they're not, I don't think they're ready right now though, because those are just from the other day. 
I'm not sure. I'd have to check. Uh, this head on the Swather Sean will only cut grass and alfalfa. This head won't cut uh, crop. The head that's in the homestead behind the shed, that'll cut everything. Okay, we're a little sneaky. We got two different headers for the Swather. So we haven't swathed like crop in a while, but we still have all the equipment. Oh, so they just, you know, I had to, and then I pick up better too. But it's all good. Alright. Back this out the way. Alright, left needs a plow. We shall plow probably with 4755, I guess. Why not? Why not? A little John Deere horseback. So, chat, there's a uh, there's a tractor for sale in the area. It's on like an online auction, but it's for sale. It's it's on the way to the farm. They have it sitting out by the highway. And. Uh, the other day, Dad goes, well, that'd be a fun tractor to mess with. I was like, Dad, you can't tell me that, because now I want to buy it. Uh, where are we looking at, Lefty? Um, you'll keep going that way. Uh, there's a, look for the gray spots. Oh, you're talking about, like, this little nub here, this little spot? This little, if you go south, further south, there's another strip, and then we're over here where I'm plowing or planting, there's... Couple strips of oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. And it's field nine. Nine. Oh, there is that one in field nine, yeah. But anyway. There's two, two little dots there. Anyway, this this old tractor, it's an international. It's an old international. I don't even know what, what model it is. But it's set up with a two row cultivator for 48 inch rows. Or 36 inch rows. And I'm like, wait a minute. That could be kind of fun to mess with. Ops oh, might be right. Thunder's um, good. It's over pumpkin here. Pumpkin tractor? Right. Over where? I got that one. There. Back up north. There's two spots. North, there's two? Okay. I don't know. Thunder. I don't know, Trent, but I was just like... Well, that would give you something to, to do during the summer. Take, well, take the tractor out and... You don't really elevate our pumpkins because we plant the cover crop. So there's only about... There's about 15 inches of bare dirt where the pumpkins are actually planted. And then on, on either sides of that, it's all the, uh, the rye cover crop. All right, left. I got all those spots. Yeah, if you want to do the waterway, you can too, since you got it I was, done. I was, I was wondering about that, if we wanted to take the waterway out. Just go and take it out. That way it's done. Yeah. If we're going to take it out anyways, because this is going to be annoying. Yeah. Well... Let's rebuy the field data again, but that's all right. It's only money. It grows on trees, right? Something like that. Got money tree? Are you playing farm together? Uh huh. Wait, have you ever played that game? No. I say you weren't around back in those days. Back in the farm together days. Uh, they got another one coming out later this year, apparently. So. We'll have to get our farm together going later this uh, later this year. We got to railroads online again. I got another update for that this morning, by the way. Oh, uh, they did some minor fixes. Yeah. Which that's good. I don't. I mean, of course, I'm in the beta branch, so I, I expect uh, updates and lots of them. I say about the time you're done with rail, the railroad, or you, they'll probably have it fully released and fixed. Well, so here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Captain of Industries updates Friday. Like this coming Friday. So probably Railroader Monday will be the last day for at least for a little while. Because I do want to jump into Captain and check out that. Play play that through again. So we'll see. I'm kind of getting into like another like around November, December into January. There was just a lot of stuff I wanted to play and we're kind of getting back to that. 
Where it's like, yeah, we could keep playing Railroader, but like, at the same time, what is there to do? We've kind of done everything. But like, the game's still fun. I, I had a blast yesterday playing that game all day. Uh, but like, you know, we can we can let that one go. And there's just lots of stuff, you know. Railroads Online, with the new map and the updates and everything. Definitely want to play that at some point. But that's a commitment game. You know, when you get into that game, you're getting into that game and you play that game. And mm -hmm. it's, it, there's a lot of hours to be had right there, especially just building the track. There's so many locations to go to on that map. It's going to be insane. And all the new building ways now that we got to test out. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's insane, so. And apparently we have to test speed. Oh, I guess I should have thought. We gotta hit okay. max Q, right? Yeah, we gotta test the ma maximum speed of the engine. Oh. Uh, and load all the cars. And the huge update for LEGO Fortnite. There's vehicles in that game now, which <laughs> sounds super fun to me. I mean, we don't have to walk for three days again? Yeah, yeah, and the monorail, I think we might just, we should probably just start a new map, right? The, the Maybe not. Test. Maybe, I don't know. Wait, did the duels get taken off this tractor again? Oh, yeah. They never had duels on it originally. It's right, damn. It did the other day. Yeah, it had, it had a rope crop fire on it. Yeah, Lego Fortnite, and, you know, there's always farms and stuff to do. And I've really been, I've been enjoying the ATS once a month. That's been fun. That was Probably. fun the last time we did it. Yeah. Yeah, especially... <laughs> Stupid hill. <laughs> I, I like the stream appropriate words that we're using for this hill. <laughs> <laughs> that hill was great. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I don't also know what I bottomed out on halfway up I, the hill. I don't know right. what I bottomed out either because I didn't have a pusher axle like John. <laughs> it's Dude, something on the trailer. Once I, I once I lived in the that pusher, it was well, it was great. Everything no, was cool. even like farther up, like some of us that didn't have pushers yeah, we still like just struggled. Well sorry, yeah, Sarge didn't have a pusher and he got stuck right right with me I, forever there. Yeah, so we, a lot of us just got like stuck in groups. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of interesting. It was like me and Black Cat at one point. Yep. It was fun. I wanna do it again. Maybe we go up there like empty big trailers and grab the heavy hauls from up there or something. Oh, uh, it probably would be better if it wasn't something so heavy. But that's the up. fun part. Or if we went up there light and came down heavy. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, yeah, reverse yeah. what we did basically. That would be fun. It'd be fun because then we could see if we could still ramp that. We that pull. One ramp. We pull oh, triples up there. That's what we should do. Triples going up the hill, like box triples or flatbed triples, and then uh, come come down with the heavy haul. That would be funny. I don't think I've ever hauled triples in that game. I hauled super bees, but no, no, triples. Got haul triples. I think I have uh, like twice. I like the Canadian super bee. Eh. <laughs> All right. So, if you notice here, these are grass bales, by the way. Just grass. Which I guess I could have tetted this, and then they would have been at least hay. We could have used it as hay, but that's okay. It's all good. We'll go ahead, mate. The silos and bales, yeah. Need the lime spreader for that waterway that we... Oh. Marshmallows. Yep, we'll make these into marshmallows, I guess, real quick. I wonder if that mod works on servers. I said. The the random colored uh, foils. Oh, I don't know. I, I like know that using that one. Yeah. Like every, every bale a different color? Uh, no, not necessarily. Or it's just random. It, random. Oh, like oh. it, you might do five bales of pink and then. Two bales of red, and then everybody's a bale OCD of white. would be so triggered. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong. Oh man. But yeah, like basically any color in farm sim. 
that it can do. That's like the OCD trigger mod right there. Chat would rage. Chat would literally rage. Chat, do, should we download? New mod? New essential <laughs> should, mod? Should, should we try a new mod, chat? <laughs> I'll shut the server down right now. <laughs> I think it's in the mod up, too. Don't make me turn the server around. Oh, wait. Oh, I won't. I mean. So the the wide, this has, like, wide outset, like, a wide stance to it. I, I don't mind it for bailing. It's like a 30-inch row or whatever? Something, yeah. It's interesting. 90 it's inch that, that on, yeah, 90s. 90. Okay. That are like the default 60, I guess, set for 30 inch rows. Gotcha. Oh, look, stuck in zero. Deep spales. Yeah, for Easter. For Easter. Or something. Oh, speaking of. Okay, hold on. Easter made me think of Easter candy. Candy made me think of this thing we saw at Sam's Club the other night. They had Reese's peanut butter medals. So they look like little Olympic medals for the Olympics coming oh. up. But they're Reese's peanut butter medals. So that's make the kids feel good. And I was they, like, Reese's they literally don't put their name on anything. Sounds like they just uh, made that to give to like the kids. I don't know. didn't collect all the Easter Maybe. eggs. Well, yeah. Bob, well, you the Olympics are this summer, too. The, the Olympics are this summer. Uh, bears heading to Detroit. Bear, stop at the gift shop and get you a bulletproof vest first. You might need it. I've heard. <laughs> but while you're there, say hi to Dave and, uh, and Storms and uh, Skillet and everybody else from Detroit. Look at you, Bear. Safe flight. Have a safe flight. Ryla Gaming just resubscribed for 43 months. 43 months hype. Hope Bradley. you are doing good. Happy Easter. I thought Brian was done. Sorry. Uh, Bradley, welcome back for 43 months. Do appreciate the resub. Uh, we're doing awesome. And happy Easter to you as well. Hoppy Easter, right? Hoppy. You got to say it like, you know, like that for some reason. I don't know why, but. As well. We don't have to say it like that, Chad. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Alright, marshmallow time. Marshmallows. Why would he do that to himself? Maybe he wants to hang out on the lake, Dave. You never know. Or why would he go to Detroit in the first place? That's kind of an out-of-the-way flight for him to take, isn't it? A little bit. I assume he's going for a connecting flight, because I'm pretty sure he's flying back home. And spoiler, Bear doesn't live in Detroit. So. Yeah, I think he flew out the same way. Okay. Flights are so weird sometimes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. What's happening? Like, if I want to fly out of my local university airport, I got to go to there, then to uh, Chicago or yeah. O'Hare, and then down south. Sure. Yeah. Well, in fairness, Trent, the, the airport you're flying out of, like, I assume it's tiny, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, do you walk to the plane, like, on the tarmac, or do you walk down, like, a hallway? You walk down a hallway. Oh, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised. It's a university one, so they... I'm surprised they're not like, hey, can you come help us push the plane back? Like, you know, tiny airport. Uh, this one's not too tiny. All right. All right, all right. I guess the airport I'm used to is like Lambert. It's, it's pretty good size. Pretty good stuff. I mean, not what it used to be, but yeah. Think, Back in the uh, TWA days. Do what? Or at least like the farm show, like that airport too. It's it's 
kind of like the same as same size as like the local airport for me. Okay. Like when the farm show goes to that airport, oh. it's, it's like that's where all the private pe private jet people will fly yeah. into. Gotcha. I gotcha. Be so cool to have a a uh, plane to be able to fly. I'm not talking like a big plane, I like a small plane. We'll tool around for the afternoon, you know. You want a little Cessna? Yeah. I've been, I've been watching that. There's a guy on YouTube, and I'm not going to say his name. Because he flies out of, like, a little airport down by the farm. <laughs> and I just randomly came across him one day on YouTube, and I was like, wait a minute, I recognize that airport. I recognize that field. Holy crap, you know. <laughs> that looks familiar. Yeah. Was, I was actually thinking about it would be really funny if I could, like, reach out to him, maybe, like, through his DMs or something. Yeah, slide into the dude's DMs, I know. But he does, like, all this random stuff with his helicopter. Well, he should come pick a pumpkin with his helicopter, right? Oh, uh, I... Wouldn't that be cool? No names. No names. I think I know who you're talking about. I think I've seen one of his videos, maybe? Oh, yeah. Possibly? There's all kinds of people that do, like... Like, the people that go camping with a helicopter, they'll just, like, fly somewhere remote, put the helicopter down, spend the night, get back in the helicopter the next day and fly off, like... Yeah, I mean, that's the way so to do cool. it. It's so cool. Especially when you have, like, the mains. Yeah. Yeah, helicopters aren't cheap, yeah. But I guess, you know, that's an advantage of a helicopter over, say, an airplane, because you can't just land an airplane everywhere. Just saying. Although an airplane did land at the farm one time when Dad was, like, a lot younger, like, way back in the day. And you landed at the plane. Well, that's in flight center. No, it was actually kind of a oh, oh no no no, uh, actually kind of an accident. The airplane was um, practicing flying low or something. I don't know what they were really doing, but apparently they were flying over a wheat field like super super low, and they got a little lower than they anticipated, and like the wheat, the friction slowed the plane down and kind of like pulled. The anyway, they landed in the middle of a wheat field by accident. <laughs> Uh, kind of a crash landing, but kind of not. They were able to take back off, but uh, not before Grandpa was like, hey, you're going to pay me for all that wheat, thanks. Because they done, they done trampled it. But I don't yeah, know if he like helped them get to the lane to take off. I'm not sure. That's the idea. But helicopters are they're pricey, but not as pricey as you think they would be. Yeah. Uh, for an entry one, it's between 200 and 500,000. Yeah. Yeah. I got that in the bank account. Hold on. I, you hey. think they would be more, though? Hey, yo, lefty. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been holding out on us. Need to win that lotto, bro. The Powerball, you know? Or did somebody finally win it? I know the Mega Millions, uh, somebody finally won it. And I it wasn't Powerball California, by the way. Yeah, I said Powerball still. Powerball still so going? Cool. Yeah, we'll see tonight, though. Maybe buy oh, tickets. I have that. That auction pulled up still for that tractor. I wonder if anybody's bid on that tractor yet. No bids. It also doesn't open till late, like April. Okay. New Jersey. Yeah. Wow. For once, it wasn't California. It wasn't John for once, though. You can get an experimental for cheap. I want one that I know is. Does it come with parachute? <laughs> Optional. <laughs> Have you ever seen like a little plane with a parachute in the tail? I've seen those videos on TikTok where they just like fall in the neighborhood. <laughs> That's uh, starting to become a thing now. It's oh, yeah. safer. Oh, it makes sense. Definitely makes sense. Wait, I got like all the equipment here. I mean. Uh, I need some more equipment, though. I don't have enough. Well, at least that rafter's not in the uh, ditch. Just sign. <laughs> no, I actually had to use uh, Lumberjack to get it out of there, Chad. It was so stuck down in, underneath the bridge. That's what happens when we're moving and somebody goes to sleep. I don't know what you're talking about. 
No, no. Oh, did you know? Look at, look at, I hit. First off, were you loading the manure spreader trap with the bucket? Uh, I cleaned up all the spillage. Oh, okay. But I like parked the manure spreader in the in the trailer and the transfer thing all like tucked away, you know. Granted, it's not like buckets not for that no, that wait. loader. I'm sure it's way too slow. Oh, uh, yeah, there was a pain, but I made it work. Yeah. Fuck you, don't even have a bluff. Do what? Bluff. Didn't planting. Oh. Okay, I was like, what? 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 What if? Oh. Yeah, I don't know about an experimental uh, air, or uh, what's it called, helicopter. Yeah. No. I think you're still here. We're catching me. At least That's... with an airplane, you can at least glide if something goes wrong. You can auto rotate with a heli. That's yeah. if you know what you're doing. Well, if you're flying a helicopter, you should know how to auto rotate, I feel like. <laughs> you should have lessons. Dude. I think they teach you that before they let you, before they give you the keys, you know? I at least hope so. Actually, the the what is it? The paramotor, paramotor, where you have like the the parachute, and then you got the big fan on your back. Yeah, like the paraglider. Para, 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 whatever. Those things. That looks like stupid fun. I'm just. Saying. You should yeah. do it, John. A little frightening sometimes, but. Yeah. I'm probably way too fat for that trend. I gotta get like a small block fans. Chevy back there, you know. Just get an airboat motor and put it on there. There you go. I'm gonna need like four parachutes, all right? <laughs> Fat people and flying things don't really get along too well, you know. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy, uh, kind of toward down towards the farm. He flies down there all the time with his like paramotor or whatever they're called, and uh, it just looks so peaceful. You know, you're just up there by yourself, just like doing your thing, you know? There's actually a guy on YouTube out in like New Jersey and he'll fly to like McDonald's and get a burger with his like paramotor. That's really cool. He'll like dip down in like fields and dodge bales and stuff. It's like, bro, that's a little dangerous, but whatever. It's cool. It's way cool. Actually, isn't that how, uh, that's how, um, Oh God, what's that guy? Uh, the King of Random, remember him? He was a YouTube guy, he died doing that. So maybe it's not that peaceful, I don't know, but I don't know. It's, it always looked cool to me. Don't run into power lines. But with anything, you know, there's there's a level of uh, a danger there. Danger. All right, we'll go stash these bales over yonder. <laughs> Flying an experimental is probably safer than a Boeing. Airplay. <laughs> uh, you know it sucks because I, I, oh man, you know Boeing has a lot of ties to St. Louis. We'll just say that. You know, a lot of, lot of ties with Boeing and St. Louis. I will be back in a little bit. All right, Black Eye, we'll catch you. I've got, uh, oh, these are still grass. Yeah, these are still grass. Okay, we can't do anything with these bales right now. These are silage, though. Okay. Uh, but I've got family members that were at Boeing. Now, obviously, it's not like that side of Boeing, you know? The Boeing in St. Louis is like defense Boeing, not commercial aviation Boeing. So, there's a difference. Obviously. Yeah, but yeah, lots of lots of Boeing connections in the St. Louis area, of course. Yeah. Wow! Wow! Farmer Nick sixteen just resubscribed for sixty nine months. Hey, hey, Giggity. Uh, Farmer Nick coming in with the 69 month resub. Farmer Nick, thanks for that. How's it going, man? How's it been? It's been a while. 
he's alive and he knows how to use a computer. Whoa. Right? He's probably outside. Well, he could have used that on his phone because he's not probably not allowed on the computer. Oh. I just said he asked permission before he... Man, Farmer Nick shows up and gets roasted. <laughs> Uh, gotcha, Nick. Gotcha. Uh, for the record, it's a uh, a cousin of mine that works for Boeing, and he doesn't do anything with commercial aviation. We'll just put it that way. So. The way planes are falling apart. Yeah, you're sticking to driving, yeah. He works... Let's just put it this way. I'm not going to tell you what he does, because I don't really know what he does. But he works in a room with no windows, and you're not allowed to have any electronics. And he can't talk about what he does for work. That's about all I know that my uh, cousin does, so. Yeah. Trying to get the house ready to put on the market. Gotcha, Nick. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, and then back in the day, I had an uncle that worked at Boeing, and he did, um, when they would build new planes, uh, the, the kind that fly really fast for, like, you know, the military, um, he would uh, be the last one to go down the checklist and check off that everything was ready to go, basically, um, before it got shipped out to the military, so... That's what he did. But yeah, my cousin, I don't actually know what he does. I know I know what plane he works for, what you know, but that's it. So same thing with my uncle. I know what plane he works basically works on. Yeah. I wonder I if it's the same I wonder if he knows my cousin. Uh on the plane, probably. Send me DM, what plane is it? on my tractor so I don't run into the tree line. I'll run into the tree line. It's okay. It's fine. Oh. Yeah, he, he oh. messes that one. Oh. Okay, yeah, no, not that one. My cousin doesn't work on that one. He works on a different one. But yeah, so that's what he's done his whole career, actually. His, he's like in his 50s, almost 60, probably. And uh, he's worked on that that same same plane his entire career, so this is pretty sure. I think he gets to fly him sometimes. Nice. He's graduated from the fancy school to do that. Yeah. That would be fun. That would be fun. All right, so this is enough of a check strip. Basically, I'm trying to do half a, you know, I'm trying to put my GPS roughly on the edge of the field. Uh, so this will keep our grass and our alfalfa uh, separated. Uh, plus, actually, side note, this will grow up in weeds and we can spray it and then that'll help our um, precision score. I've had idea. So I probably should go plow a spot in all of our grass fields, just like a little tiny spot. And let it grow. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go plow. I'll drop the plow for, like, not even move. Just drop the plow and then raise it and then let it grow up in weeds. Because right now our precision score precision, precision score, is getting uh, nailed by weeds. Um, and it's off of these grass fields. I mean, if you just do what you're doing now. It... Yeah, but I don't need to do that around the grass fields. They're grass. Who cares? You know what I mean? Grass and grass can mix I, it. I know, but if you yeah. at least do that and then replant it in grass. Oh, all I need to do is a spot though. Like just a quick drop and drop and drop and dash. Um, something like that. Drop and run. I don't know. It'll be fine though. That's cheating. Now what is cheating is that Precision and Farming Simulator doesn't know that I have grass and there's no weeds that grow in grass fields. Farmer Nick, but yet it's still dinging me on my precision score because it thinks there's weeds in that field, even though there's not, because it's grass. That's what's cheating, okay? Come at me, bro. I chose violence today. 
first black came down. True. 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 I chose violence. Not really. I just, you know, I didn't, the violent life, I didn't choose it. You know, I live in St. Louis. They kind of chose me, you know. <laughs> it just kind of happens, Chad, okay? It just kind of happens. I'll be right back. All right. Grappling like flies, Lefty. All right. <laughs> and you'll be back too, right? Maybe. I don't know. Alright, rolling. Right. Rollin'. Rollin'. Hey, at least we don't have to fertilize, right? For now. Well, not those fields, because it's soybeans. We'll have to fertilize this uh, alpha alpha field when I get it done. That's, that's alright. So, literally, watch this chat. We're just gonna go. Whoop. Oh, maybe I need to. There. Now we're going to let that grow up in weeds, and then when it does, we'll spray it, and that'll count as the whole field, hopefully. We should have done this a long time ago, but it's fine. What it means, probably, is that there was weeds when we planted, and since we didn't spray them, then it like doesn't count as getting rid of them. The whole thing. But this should help our uh, precision score uh, uh, at least a little bit. Uh, we don't have a bad score. It'll help. Plus, it looks really weird. So, you know. I chose chaos. Okay. Alright, I noticed there's a little bit of grass here in the road. Go. We got rid of it. Hooray. Hooray! Nothing like put the plow cultivator whatever you want to call it down on the uh, pavement you know nothing like it yet nothing like it Wowzers. so uh who else is getting rain tomorrow for easter chat I'm gonna rain on my parade not having a parade tomorrow but a rain on is an Easter parade a thing? Do they throw out like hard-boiled eggs? Oh, actually, now they're down to a 30% chance. 76, but cloudy here tomorrow. Uh, cloudy and a little windy. What else is new? Maybe we'll do some Easter Day plowing at the farm tomorrow, finally, huh? Maybe. You haven't looked at the weather for a couple days, Fire. You just know that it's going to weather outside, right? It's just going to weather. Right? Raining. Oh, holy cow. That's that one. going to hit. Ah. Normally, you can push these around a little bit. Interesting. Gotcha, fire. The judge. Hold on, I'm assuming it's a judge with a different account, huh? Rain last night? You know, there was a little rain across northern Missouri last night, but it didn't... Uh... Didn't mount to a hill of beans. I thought it was going to come get me, but uh, it kind of evaporated into nothing. Um, we're going to do this, chat. Hey, bad chat. On your phone. Gotcha. Gotcha, Judge. What's going on, man? How are you? All right, so that that that's a perfect strip there. It'll work great. Give us enough to, you know, not pick up grass while we're trying to mow the alfalfa. This will be perfect, chat. Perfect. 
Most sunny. I have 58. Full rain till night. Nice. The lightning was crazy. Awesome, right? Always fun. Judge, we're doing, man. We're doing great. Just knocking down a little alfalfa for our uh, our cows. That's what we're up to right now. Oh, we need to buy a bigger. We don't have money for that today, do we? What? Bigger tether. But I'm going to mow doubles this time instead of mowing single rows, so that should help the teddying process. A whole um, lot faster. How much is it? I don't know. I don't know. We're a little tight on cash. We got corn to sell next month, so. That's true. 58 t shirt weather. I'll tell you what, it was like 50 degrees at the farm the other day and the wind was kind of blowing. I was freezing. All right, Judge, I'll get man. I'll get We'll catch you. I was freezing at the farm. I had my jacket on. I had gloves on outside. I was uh, I was mowing, so I was moving around in the wind and stuff. But I was freezing. When I got done, I went in the shed and I made hot chocolate. I was that cold. I was like, this is torture. But that's all right. I got through it, so it's all good. It is all good. But yeah, it was it was brutal. You live in New England, thirty two is freezing. So the problem that we've had is that we've had some nice weather. So when it's you know goes back the other way, it kind of you know you start getting used to the, the warmer weather, you know. Yeah, and left gives you a cold. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> left you, left you. No, I thought, uh, I thought Kimmy was patient zero. Oh. <laughs> All I know is my nose runs and. Oh no, you're sick fire. too. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's that or it's just allergies. Allergy like, start up, yeah. It's, it's springtime. It's flowers. It, it might be both. Sean, they're talking a two day nor'easter next week? No way. Wow. I think next, yeah, I think next Wednesday I'm supposed to get snow. Again. I'll probably have to mow grass like in town soon, probably next week. <laughs> Haven't even thought about doing that yet. I mowed the whole farm the other day. Mostly just because I needed like a mental health, like, you know, tune up. And mowing is that mental health tune up for me, so. Yeah. Right, Farmer Nick? Yep. Up and down. It's that's you betcha that time of year. What grass? There's grass in my yard, Sean. Um, John, what's going on? Hey, hey, John, got a question for you. <laughs> John, we have a question for you. Is there a spotlight that's, emote? <laughs> that's the next suspect, please. <laughs> Maybe like the Pixar. Uh, light lampy mode, you know, that a thing. John, did you cut a tree down on this map the other day? It happened Thursday, right, left? Yeah, it was. It would have been Thursday. John says, "Wait, no, he's not saying yes to that, is he?" No. <laughs> I was like, "Wait a minute." <laughs> I I think that was more of a. Yes, yes. you have a question. Yeah, not yes. I cut a tree. <laughs> so who I, did it? At, I'm stuck at 99 or no. I think I know. There's only one suspect left. So who is it? Sam, right? It's Dan. I, just, I don't remember Dan being in Thursday. That's the thing. Like, I don't remember it. Could have been. Where were you on? <laughs> right? I don't... I, I don't remember. Well, I don't who, remember there being a train. Then it was it Trent? And he's just playing us? Possibility. As us says, there's video evidence of it being there. Like two and a half hours in, right before you go planning the form. But whenever you make it like the second pass, yeah, it's gone. I'll pull the log files. Bro. 
that. Did not touch the tree. Okay, John. I wasn't accusing for the record. I was just asking. All right, I swear. Because it's yeah. it's Farmer Nick. So hold on. We'll we'll go we'll go explain it. Nick Nick's out of the loop here. <laughs> uh, what did I just open my computer? I don't want that. Whatever that is. Um. So here's what it is. You ever think by trimming that it went poof? We trimmed it on Tuesday though, didn't we? Yeah. It was there. So this. Oh my God. I'm. So Stuck on a come like get me. I can't leave. <laughs> oh, the ladder's folded up. That's what it is. You spawn on the little step. But the okay. So there used to be a horse barn here, for those of you that don't know, right? It used to be a big horse barn thing. It had an outside area. It was huge. And there was a little tree on the edge of the corner here. And I wanted to cut it down and left said no, it's his shade tree. So I said, okay, well, let's trim it up a little bit. So we cut off a couple of the branches on Tuesday. On Tuesday. Thursday during the stream, apparently, the tree disappeared. So, literal log files. So, <laughs> is that smokable? About that for that. I'm cutting alf alpha, my dude. <laughs> Uh, you can try to smoke that. Oh, oh, oh. I don't recommend it. Uh, speaking of smokable things that aren't smokable, I was talking to a local farmer about hemp the other day. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they're starting to grow hemp around here. And he's like, yeah, I think it's like, you know, the, st the kind you can smoke, but you can't smoke it. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's different. It's the same. Hemp is not the same as, you know, Mary Jane, no. so... Yeah, I don't know that there's much of a market for hemp around here, but they're growing it now. I, I guess I should have just stayed in the server. Is it broken now? Uh, I was stuck at 99. Stuck at 99? That he never happens. In, he, he was in the server. Yeah. I'll try that one again. Yeah. I'm loading back in. It's... It's advancing. It just got went two ninety nine sinking data, oh. and stopped. Hemp, hemp clothing's unreal, is it? Years, years and years and years ago, my mother bought a hemp pancake mix one time. And you talk about the most disgusting pancakes ever. They looked like it looked like baby poop green. The pancakes were, and let me tell you, it. This is like baby poop green. Yeah, it worked uh, a couple days later. Yeah, yeah, it worked. <laughs> they were so nasty. Mom's like, "Well, everybody has to try it." She didn't even try it. <laughs> we never, never got those again. For the record, you might have why. They were disgusting. I love when the entire map is red or needs to be plowed. Bad. Made okay, Farmer Nick may be back in team speak at some point. It may take a month or two. Make sure you ask your wife for permission nope. first. But I assume he's moving soon, right? I don't get that's permission right to get in TS because you know she gets upset anytime he gets on the computer. This is also true, apparently. Uh, did you make it in this time? Yeah, I got it. That's weird. That was, that was a Jonathan. So oh, I, know, I know, I just didn't know if you were still stuck at 99. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. That's very odd. Uh, if people are looking for a job, a tether could come to the alfalfa field, although it will be very slow. It's, you know, oh, and doubles, so therefore, it, you know, the whole thing. It's a whole thing. I forgot the other stuff I need to do. Nick says he doesn't need to ask permission. Lefty. Okay. Okay. I specifically remember the last time he got into TS. We heard in the background. Really? <laughs> uh, did you left? Did you roll any other fields yet? Nah. First week of June, you're moving. Got you, Lefty. Or not, Lefty. That's Farmer Sorry. Nick. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Farmer Nick. Gotcha. First week of June. That's awesome, man. GG's, bro. Uh, for the record, life, that was a great impersonation. 
<laughs> Arbor Nick's gonna leave and never come back. <laughs> I don't blame you, Nick. It's okay. This is the last time we heard it from Arbor Nick. Yep. Never heard from him again. Oh, gosh. Alright. Little GPS action. Rotate. So, here's a good question. Yeah, so. Would a, like, lawn care roller work on Alpha Alpha? I don't know. And actually, I do want to try one next time we mow grass, too. We were talking about it the other day, and I forgot. Uh, it, it does. Do, I know grass will work. Well, it with does. precision, though. It does. It does? Does it give you fertilizer or just the gross It doesn't tape? give you fertilizer. It gives you the gross it, tape. Yeah. You enjoy talking to us. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> What's the term? Um, yeah, there's a term for that, but I, I don't. Yeah, yeah, there's a term. Yeah, we'll just go with it. Okay, because we were talking about that the other day of like, you know, what does a grassland care roller do with precision? So it gives you the gross state, not to Okay. Yeah, which That's I think would be helpful on that. On the alfalfa, alpha, yeah. Yeah, because it just takes forever to grow. Oh, oh, oh. If it works. Yeah, I don't know. We'd have to get one for You know, I debated today when I turned my air conditioning on if I should set it at 70 or 69. I kind of wish I would have set it at 69. It's kind of hot here. One degree makes all the difference, you know? Mm-hmm. Just saying. Really need to take my computers outside and clean them, but... That's way too much work. I legitimately can't be bothered to do that. Until then, they just kind of, you know, sound like jet engines. Fine. For the record, they're not that bad. First time's computer, on the other hand. Good lord. When I walk in the house, I open the door to the house, I can, I'm like, who's vacuuming? It's first time's computer. Fan going out on it? No, it's just running like wide open. No. So when when he wanted to build that computer, um, this is actually Carson's fault in a way. Because he first time and, and Carson got talking one day and Carson recommended it's an NZXT case. Mm-hmm. Never seen okay. computer vacuum. Gotcha. Um it's an NZXT case, but it's an NZXT case that's notorious for having bad airflow. Mm. And, uh, yeah, there's, like, no airflow in that computer. Uh, uh, yeah, so that computer just screams now, like, 24-7. I, I run an NZXT case. And yeah? Not bad. It's, uh, like, the 710 or something like that. I don't even know which one he... I don't know what which one he has. I have three intakes and four outtakes, technically. Oh, I think this one has like one in input fan, maybe one yeah, out. It, so. Yeah, that's that's probably the problem. Yeah, Sarge, what's going on? How are you? Hashtag blame Carson. You betcha. Betcha. It's always Carson's fault. But no, this legitimately was. Yeah. So they've they've come out with a case since then. It's the same case, but airflow. <laughs> and it has like you can put like three fans in the front or something. I mean, you can make any ca any case yeah. airflow case. True. Just <laughs> how how much do you want to cut it? Yeah. How much do you want to cut? Yeah, just get checking out. Let's go. Awesome, sorry, glad to hear. Glad to hear. Yeah. So when I was looking for cases to build the, uh, at the time it was going to be the server PC, ended up becoming the stream PC. And server PC. Um, I made sure to go with it's a Corsair case, but it very specifically is like whatever model airflow. Mm -hmm. So it's got three fans in the front and two on the top and one in the back. And yeah, John, we're making hay out of this. Uh, so yeah, we need to Ted and then uh, rat or what's it called? Uh, uh, rake it and then uh, bail it and store it. 
So basically all the equipment, you know? Equipment? Yes. Yeah, the answer is yes. But last time I mowed, I did just like swath to the center. So then you had to like, you know, it was way too much. Uh, so this time we only have to, you guys, you know, you guys only have to Ted half as much. Half as many passes. So that'll, that'll help out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I, my case has, technically there's supposed to be a front panel on it. Yeah. That's not on there. Yeah. Armor Nick needs more fans. Or just a new case. <laughs> Sarge is listening on the road. Hopefully, can join in. They're awesome, Sarge. Uh, ten and two. Be safe, Sarge. Safe driving. Ten and two. Does any nobody ten? And, no, that's dangerous these days with airbags, right? Isn't it more like what nine uh, and three? Depends. I don't know. I don't know. I know. I do like four and eight. Most usually. people are lucky to have you know a hand on the steering wheel. Let's be honest. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Left over there driving with his knee, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay? <laughs> uh, well, you gotta open a bag of Doritos somehow. Come on, open bag of Doritos, surf the internet, you know. <laughs> Left, you just need to install like a you know, like one of those like letter openers, but for Doritos, yeah, for like bag bags of chips and stuff like that. Uh -oh. You just put it in there and pull it. There you go, all set. Nine and three. Oh, Farmer Nick has spots for for fans, just doesn't own them. Got it. Uh. <laughs> Look, Ma, no hands. Uh. <laughs> uh, I don't condone that, Sarge, for the record. But you know, you you do you, sir. You do you. Oh man, I can see the headlines now. Man typing in Twitch stream crashed because distracted. It's okay. Sarge is a trained professional. Trained professional. Trained professional. Small as hell. Boss farmer, true, true. Yeah, but we we got we got people. So if I was doing it all myself, I might just run the smaller header, run like you know. But we got we got people, so we chilling. Round, round in circles left. Pretty much. And it's easier on these fields. <laughs> wow, Farmer Nick. Wow. I'd actually be interested to talk to Sarge about like the. Uh, because Sarge, was, a part of his career was like Army Corps uh, of Engineers. It'd be interesting to talk to him about like the bridge cleanup and stuff. Uh, uh, thanks for that uh, follow, by the way. Appreciate you. Sorry. What? So the largest crane on the eastern seaboard yeah. was placed there, and it can only lift a thousand tons. Uh -huh. they, they estimated several of those pieces to be four to five thousand tons so talk about like emptying a bathtub with a teaspoon right i mean <laughs> pretty much actually the the crane that lifted the uh the miracle on the hudson plane out of the hudson is a go in there too really? it's like that's kind of interesting i forget how many cranes they said will be there in like within the next week or something those are pretty big cranes to be floating around yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. If their priorities at least getting the port reopened, then yeah, get that center channel open, get the ship out of the way. I assume that ship has some damage too. Oh yeah, like, at kinda, least deck damage. Yeah. So, the whole thing's crazy. But there's live streams of it. So don't worry, you can watch twenty four seven. Uh. Doesn't surprise me. It reminded me. I saw one the other day, and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm having flashbacks to the the bridge collapse in Pennsylvania, or from that fire, the highway, you know." Yeah, because I watched I watched a lot of that one actually. That one was crazy. Yeah.
The crane is only rated for half its capacity on a barge. I didn't know that. Makes sense, though. So if if that well, so if it depends too. If they're rating uh, it at ten tons, I can really could lift on land. It could lift twenty. Is that the way you look at it? I, I think and so. Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? But I I also kind of wonder if that crane that is on that thousand ton crane, yeah, is technically not a barge crane. We'll say. I yeah, I don't know. It's like an actual ship crane. I could be. Yeah, I don't know. I'd be interested to like see some drone footage, you know. But it's insane. It's, the whole thing's insane. Yeah. I say I've seen a on a TV show. There's like a specialized ship that did uh, wind turbines that had like a thousand ton crane on it. Oh wow. That kind of like jacked itself up. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen that. Or seen. And, yeah. Yeah. That that crane it technically wasn't a barge. It was an actual ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, no, I got you, Farmer Nick. Yeah, we're saying the same thing, man. Okay. I got you. That is interesting, though. Very, very interesting. I've seen, like, a little crane on a river, you know. But river barge, that's about all I've ever seen. Left, does that uh, wrapper have a bail in it for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's no bail in that wrapper. There's a bail in that wrapper. <laughs> there is a bail in that wrapper, actually. <laughs> there is, too. Is there? Did I leave one in there? Uh, the one on the homestead has a, oh, that has a bail one. in it. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, that, that is there. Okay. It needs to be wrapped <laughs> one of these days. We'll I thought you meant it. the one over here, and I was like, no, there's no. not. You guys are crazy. Not over, not over there. Golly. Now we had a. We used to have a uh, like a. Oh, it was back when I was a kid. There was like a dinner cruise boat that would go out on the river, and uh, well, they had like this pier thing built out in the river. And a couple years ago, they decided to get rid of a bunch of that. Well, they had all this driftwood that came in. So the the city hired a crew to come in with a tugboat and a barge. And they had this crane on there with a grapple on it. And they would grapple all this driftwood and then just turn and drop it in the river. Make it somebody else's problem. It was kind of interesting. I would have just burned it, but... You know, what's the worst that's going to happen? It's literally in the river. Like, come on. Kind of in the river. Just let it, let it, let it torch, you know? No, probably it wouldn't burn. Well, some of it would have would have reduced anyway. They spent like a week doing this, okay. <laughs> it was crazy. The tugboat would go until the barge was like on land basically or touching land. And he would just sit there with his engine, you know, kinda going a little bit the whole time. And then the other crane would just, you know, do its crane thing and all the, the deck hands would just kinda stand there and watch because they had nothing to do. Kind of interesting. So we have another bale next to the silage that needs to be wrapped as well. Okay. Make it someone else. Exactly, Buggy, yeah. Make it somebody else's problem. Not my problem anymore. But we're, we're doing the process now, man. We're mowing, we're tedding, we're raking, we're about to bale. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lag incoming. It probably. There's all kinds of little uh, skippers out here from last time. Like it got missed with a raker. Probably, That's the, probably the bailer. Probably the bailer. Yeah. That's okay. It doesn't matter. It's here this time. We can. It's bonus. Bonus crop. <laughs> well, I look at it. Right. Those fields shouldn't take long now. But you guys will be caught up to me by the time I'm done. Just, you know, basically you guys are doing double. For every one pass, it takes me two of what you guys are all doing, so. That's all right, though. It's all good. So do we have, like, enough building space for the bales? 
Probably not. Probably the operator. Sarge, I think you were bailing, weren't you? <laughs> I wasn't going to throw anybody under the bus. Why? I think he's trying to say something. <laughs> I don't know what. Or wait. Let's see. No, Tony was... Okay, I was mowing. Tony was Ray Air. Tony was Ted. Actually, I don't know who bailed. Damn. And then I know I was raking eventually, and Tony was Ted. And then I switched with him so he could take a break. Uh, we'll blame Carson. Fair enough. <laughs> Carson That's good to me. Carson hasn't farmed with us in so long. It's definitely yeah. Carson. Doesn't mean we can't blame him still. We were raking. So then, was Tony bailing? Tony might have been bailing. No, uh, Tony was tatting. Okay. Trent? Was it, was it Dan? Was it Trent? I don't know who was, who was bailing. It doesn't matter. It's okay. It's all good. I can tell you who it wasn't. It wasn't Lefty. Exactly. <laughs> I don't, I don't it, remember bailing last week. Dang it, Farmer Nick. That's who it was. It was Farmer Nick. Okay. That Probably guy exactly. can't run a bailer to, you know, for nothing. That's all right. It's all good. Like I said, bonus crop for this time. No, no harm, no foul. Does not matter. Besides, if I'm going to get grumpy about anything, I'm going to be grumpy about how I drove in the field. <laughs> Hi, it was me. And that's like one thing I don't kind of, I don't like about alfalfa. Yeah. Is it's, does that. It sure does. <laughs> I wasn't going to blame you, John. I'll, I'll get mad at myself. I won't get mad at anybody else. How about that? Yeah. I can't get mad at you guys I'm saying. Just get mad at myself about it. Do what? I said I get the skipper with it. Then I'll eventually get to the end rows. I just oh. didn't want to go around the bed and drive in a crop like John. Put bales in my way. Exactly. Yeah, please don't. Thanks. I need all the turnaround I can. The whole thing. It's all. Ow. It's a whole thing. Jeez. Sorry. You know, I kept. The, the other day I was talking about taking allergy medicine. I still haven't done that. I need to start doing that. Tis the season. At least here. We're actually so far into it already. All the brass repairs are done, Blue. They're all done. The tulip trees are done. Uh, yeah. Regular trees still don't like have full leaves, but they're they're definitely turning green. Definitely turning green. And John has officially caught me. All right. All right, all right. Where's the Jaws music? And uh, he's right there. He can, he, John. You can run a bail trailer. Like in the meantime, while you're waiting for me to get more done. Damn it. But it's all good. You don't have to. problem with this thing is I, I gotta take an extra half second to make sure I get like somewhat squared up so our rows are nice. Not that it matters because they're being raked, but still gotta have nice clean nice clean paths, you know. Or something. You don't have to, but might as well. Might as well. All right, so we do this. After we get this done, we need to fertilize this with something. We can just go fast and use like pellet or liquid or. Well, we can use anything, honestly. We got a little bit of slurry. We can just get it done with a uh, pellet. 
Just get it done. And then we're probably fast time for weeds for uh, the soybean fields. And we have uh, we have corn to sell, right? June. At June, right? So we'll have corn to sell. 